Hello all. Today we are dealing with the aromatic electrophilic substitutions. It's a reaction in which an electrophile substitutes for a hydrogen attached to the benzene ring. Normally, it could be any aromatic ring, but normally we'll be explaining this one by taking benzene as the example. So, here this electrophile substitutes for this hydrogen, any one of the hydrogen atoms present in benzene ring to give substituted benzene. Regarding the mechanism, all the different types, all different types of reactions such as halogenation, sulfonation, nitration, etc. All of them proceed via a general mechanism which involves three main steps. First one is the generation of electrophile. Okay. First one is the generation of electrophile. Second one is the formation of the arrhenium ion or which is called as known as sigma complex. And the third one, loss of proton from the sigma complex to give our desired product. Okay, so this is the first step E and Z. The electrophile is dissociated into, sorry, the attacking reagent is dissociated into an electrophile plus a nucleophile. This is the first step. Okay, this is the first step. And in the second step, in the second step, the electrophile first gets coordinated or interacts with the electron cloud the electron density of this benzene to give a pi complex okay electrophile at this stage electrophile is not get directly getting attached to any of the atoms of the benzene ring instead it gets coordinated to or get or it gets attached to the pi electron cloud of the benzene ring to give you a pi complex that is the first first process happening then this pi complex slowly converts into a sigma complex which means that a sigma bond is established between that electrophile and any one of the carbon atoms in the benzene ring. Okay. And here in this example, the electrophile gets attached. Let me write it here once again here. Here, three double bonds are there and one E plus is coming. And this E plus is getting attached towards this carbon atom. Okay, towards this carbon atom, let us number it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, the electrophile gets attached to the first carbon atom. Okay, when that gets attached to, directly attached to this first carbon atom, the, rest, the structure obtained is this one. Okay, so by the combination of electrophile into that first carbon atom, you will be getting a structure like this. Okay. And this cation, we have received a sigma complex. Understood? From pi complex, it is converted into a sigma complex. And this sigma complex is stabilized due to resonance. And we can write a number of resonance forms such as this is the first structure, this is the second structure, and this is the third structure. And the hybrid of this one could be written as this, okay, as the resonance hybrid. There are three resonance structures which give you the resonance hybrid like this because positive charge is getting spread into these positions okay first position second position and third position so as a whole we can write it like this okay and in the third step this base because e plus and z minus were produced in the beginning only e plus was in use okay we used only e plus and z minus is remaining over there and this z minus will abstract one hydrogen from the benzene ring okay to give you the product okay to make it more simple okay i'll i'll just give you give you the simplest version and by discussing the example okay so this these are the three main steps one two a b and c this is the third step and now let's see one by one what are the important reactions what important examples in this category first one is halogenation Benzene and halogen, normally chlorine and bromine are taken. They undergo this electrophilic substitution only in the presence of a catalyst. Okay, normally we will be taking FeCl3 as a catalyst if you take chlorine as the attacking reagent. And for bromination to take place, we have to take the catalyst as FeBr3. Okay, to give you corresponding bromobenzene or chlorobenzene or bromobenzene. Yes, mechanism. In the first step, 
how the electrophile is generated. From Cl, we know that the electro to become a chlorobenzene, Cl plus has to be formed. That Cl plus is attacking the benzene ring. For that, that's why we are taking the catalyst FeCl3 to generate Cl plus. Okay, so it is just a simple reaction. Cl2 plus FeCl3 will give you Cl plus and Cl minus will be there. Cl2 is actually dissociated in the presence of FeCl3 to give Cl plus and Cl minus. This Cl minus will be taken up by this ferric chloride to give FeCl4 minus. Okay, this is just as the dissociation of Ez into E plus and Z minus. Okay, so electrophile Cl plus is formed here. And in the second step, the formed electrophile is attacking the benzene ring to give you the sigma complex. Okay, this Cl plus is attacking the benzene ring to give a structure like this. Here the positive charge is on this carbon atom and it is resonance stabilized. We will be getting three structures and this is the resonance hybrid. Okay, and so and here this FeCl4 minus, FeCl4 minus is present here in the third step that that one will be attacking this hydrogen, okay, and as a result, chlorobenzene is formed. To make it more simple, I'll be, I'll write it here, all the three steps involved. This is very, actually, this is only, only you have to, the main steps are only this much, and here we are elaborating by writing the resonance structures. That's it, okay. So, we can see, first one is the, in the, in the mechanism, first one happens is that dissociation of Cl2 to give chloronium ion, Cl plus ion. Cl2 plus FeCl3 will give you Cl plus and FeCl4 minus. In the second step, in the second step, the benzene ring is attacked by this Cl plus to give to give a positive because here Cl will be there. And a positive charge is generated in the adjacent carbon atom. Okay. Now what we have to do is that here one hydrogen is hiding. Actually Cl has to take the position of that hydrogen. So that hydrogen has to be removed from the system. So in the third step. In the third step. Cl is there. Hydrogen is there. And a positive charge is present here. So FeCl3, FeCl4 is coming. Cl minus FeCl3. This is FeCl4, right? So this Cl minus is attacking this hydrogen atom. And as a result, this hydrogen is just getting removed from the system by giving away its electrons. Okay. So you will be getting. Chlorobenzene plus Cl minus and H plus will give you HCl and the cat FeCl3 is actually the catalyst so it has to be regained right okay this is the overall reaction just three simple steps first one is the generation of the electrophile second one is the formation of this arrhenium ion or sigma complex and the third step the Cl minus the Z minus attacks and it abstracts one hydrogen to give you our desired product. Okay. And the second mechanism, I mean, the second example is nitration. Benzene is undergoing nitration in presence of nitrating mixture. It has to be heated with nitrating mixture. Nitrating mixture is nothing but the combination of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. Okay. First one, as always, we have to see the generation of electrophile. For that, we are taking H2SO4, H2SO4 plus HNO3. Here, the electrophile is NO2 plus. Okay, the electrophile, the main part, what we are more interested in is the electrophile that is NO2 plus plus HSO4 minus. This is E plus and Z minus we already obtained and, there is, and the remaining one is one water molecule. Okay, one molecule of nitric acid plus one molecule of sulfuric acid will give you NO2 plus plus HSO4 minus plus one molecule of water. And the NO2 plus is the electrophile. So,
so in the second step what has to be done this no2 plus attaches attaches to the benzene ring no2 plus attaches the benzene ring to give resonance stabilized sigma complex and in the third step this hso4 minus is coming hso4 minus was there it it was already prepared so that is coming into action now and it abstracts one hydrogen to give sulfuric acid and the nitrobenzene as the main product here also sulfuric acid we are taking sulfuric acid as a, as a catalyst in the beginning it was used up but at the end of the reaction it is regained okay that is the speciality of catalyst they should not get directly involved into the reaction okay so sulfuric acid is a catalyst here that is regained okay this is the mechanism of nitration and the third example is sulfonation this is done when benzene is heated with fuming sulfuric acid okay fuming sulfuric acid is nothing but strong sulfuric acid or which is known as oleum and in other words it is just so3 gas is dissolved in the concentration of so3 gas is more in the fuming sulfuric acid the fumes coming are actually sulfur trioxide gas okay so very high concentrate highly concentrated sulfuric acid is called fuming sulfuric acid okay so in here also generation of electrophile step here sulfuric acid is two molecules are taken two molecules of h2so4 to give the electrophile is so3 that we have to see i'll just explain this so3 plus hso4 minus so3 plus hso4 minus plus h3o plus okay these are formed by the combination of two molecules of sulfuric acid here we know we already said that this is aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction so incoming incoming the attacking reagents are electrophiles in the previous two examples in the case of halogenation the electrophile was halogen plus x plus and in the case of nitration the electrophile was no2 plus so normally all electrophiles will be having a positive charge but here the electrophile formed this neutral okay so3 sulfur trioxide is the electrophile here that is neutral but electrophilic okay self so so3 is neutral but electrophilic so don't put a positive charge on so3 okay and the rest is the same the second mechanism sorry the second step is the formation of sigma complex arrhenium ion that we have seen already in twice or thrice in the third step in the third step again it is a sigma uh, loss of proton from the sigma complex to give the desired drug product but here also we you have to see in the case of when so3 is attached to this benzene ring this so3 minus is formed okay it was neutral again it is getting a bond therefore so3 minus is formed and since the so3 is have getting a negative charge we have to neutralize before the completion of the reaction so there he only in the case of sulfonation the reaction proceeds by four steps okay the last step is the neutralization of this so3 minus by giving it a positive charge this one also was there unused okay in the dissociation step in the generation of electrophilic step what we have obtained as so3 that we have used in the first step in the second then the remaining species was hso4 minus that we have used in the third step that in this step hso4 minus is used and there was one more thing hso3o plus was there now we are using that okay to neutralize this so3 minus to give so3h so the resultant product obtained is benzene sulfonic acid the fourth and the last example is friedel-crafts reaction but here it is divided into two friedel-crafts alkylation and azylation here in this case just benzene is reacted with an alkyl halide to give the corresponding alkyl benzene so nothing here just elimination of hx takes place and in the position of hydrogen r groups get r group gets attached okay here what you what you, the important point is that the electro sorry the catalyst is aluminum chloride alumina alcl3 okay so if you attach if you react benzene with methyl chloride you will be getting methyl benzene or toluene if you are taking ethyl chloride you will be getting ethyl chloride okay so it goes on mechanism is again the same here rx and alcl3 alcl3 are reacting to give r plus and x alcl3 minus okay if it is alkyl chloride rcl 
for example if you have taken alkyl chloride rcl plus alcl3 will give you r plus plus al cl4 minus okay so the electrophile is generated in the second step it gets attached to the benzene ring to give a sigma complex to give a sigma complex in the third step that sigma complex is cleaved to give alkyl benzene corresponding alkyl benzene plus hcl plus alcl3 okay alcl3 is again since it is a catalyst and the second one is friedel-crafts acylation reaction here this acyl group is getting substituted to the benzene ring okay is getting attached to the benzene ring and this can be done by two methods first either we can use acetyl chloride from here cl3co group will be there and from acetic anhydride from here also the same group is coming and attaching okay to give in both the cases the product has the same acetophenol only the byproducts are changing according to the reagent we are taking generation of electrophile is take acid chloride r c o c l is taken plus a l c l 3 will be getting r c o plus plus a l c l 4 minus okay the electrophile is generation generated and this is again and then the second step it gets attached to the benzene ring to give you the sigma complex and in the third step the sigma complex is cleaved to give acyl benzene okay so this is all about the mechanisms of aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions Thank you.